guys what's up it's your girl Kayla and I am currently cleaning my room but I thought that as I did that I would do a little something since on November 8th I turned 30 I am flirty dirty and 30 so let's get to 30 questions from my friends. Okay, so before I get to the 30 questions for my flirty, dirty, and 30, I just wanted to make some quick life updates since I last posted because it's been a while. So as you can see, I got my other nostril pierced and I got snake bites. So that's pretty exciting. Also, I got two kittens from my best friend, Nicole. She gave them to me as a surprise after work because I've been missing my cats, Bud and Rudy, so much since they last passed. R.I.P. So yeah, I have two new kittens. Their um, names are Coco, for, short for Cocoam, and Miko. And I named them after Pocahontas characters in the Disney film Pocahontas. I am now the manager at a retail store. I love it. I love my team. I love my employees. It doesn't pay the greatest, but honestly, it's where I need to be right now. Yeah, so let's get straight into these questions. So my friend Ike, his question to me was, what are your biggest dreams in life? So, I'm going to sit down for this. My biggest dreams in life. Um, I would say that I'd love to get a position in radio because that's what I went to school for. I have three degrees. I have a degree in radio, broadcast, and journalism. So, I'd love to work in one of those fields. In radio, I love to work in promotions or in marketing or sales. I think I would do really well in those areas. So those are my biggest dreams in life. AJ asked, what are five childhood movies? Um, five movies from my childhood. God, I have a lot. Um, I would have to, and these are in no certain order. I would have to say hair. Rocky Horror Picture Show, Rent, Pocahontas for obvious reasons, and I'd say Frozen. My friend Berger, this is a good one. Goals for the next 10 years. So first on my list of goals would be to get a better paying job, um, doing something that I love, and I'd love to fall in love, get married, have kids someday. Those are my biggest goals for the next 10 years. My friend Kyle said, what are five video games? Originally he asked me for 10, but 10's a lot. So I'm going to say The Sims, Diablo 3, World of Warcraft. I need a better computer to play that, so I haven't played for a while. Um, Super Mario 64 has always and always will be my favorite video game and um there's this there's this video game called Eevee and it's where there's a little bird character and you have to get around these obstacles by using the Wii remote and throwing vines and twine to make her get over safely to the other side away from those obstacles so those are my five video games Beverly asked, do you remember when I taught you the Soldier Boy dance um, in high school? And yes, of course I do. I remember we were playing tennis and we were on the tennis court and you showed me the dance and I was so thrilled because at the time I was dating this kind of ghetto dude and he was a great dancer. He knew how to crip walk and like all this shit. And so I was so excited to show him that I finally knew, like, a cool, hype, new dance. Emily asked, favorite candy or candies? So I'm going to come out and admit that I am not really a candy queen. Um, but I do like certain gummy 
fruity candies like Starburst or I love red vines, Mike and Ike's, anything like that, something chewy or like sour. I love that too. I'm not a chocolate girl, but if it comes to chocolate, my favorite would have to be the white chocolate Reese's. I really love that. And my favorite candy bar of all time are um, Reese's Fast Breaks. I think those are so good. It's kind of like a Reese's cup, but it's like a candy bar and there's nougat in the middle. Oh, it's so yummy. And then my next question is, where were you three hours ago? So let me check what time it is. 2.12, so 1, 12, 11. So three hours ago, I was downstairs, I think, doing a word search because that's my cool new hobby. <laughs> Confession. Okay, so I think if you know me at all or if you've watched my videos, I think it will come as no surprise for me, Kayla Zeller, to confess that I am boy crazy. And this is not like a new thing. I, I'm talking ever since I was like three years old. I have been obsessed with boys. Whether they're just my guy friends, I have more guy friends than I do girlfriends, um, or if it's a romantic partner, or just guys in general. I love them. I think too much about boys, honestly. <laughs> Bad habit. I would say my worst habit that I picked up is vaping, but vaping for sure is one. My favorite color, I'm sure you can guess, is pink. I love me some pink. You can tell by my walls even. They're kind of like a lavender-y purple, but pink for sure is my go-to color. Color of my toothbrush. Um, so I just picked up a new toothbrush the other day, actually, and it is red. Pet peeves. Um, I hate, ugh, I'm a really impatient person, so I get really irritated if someone's walking slow or driving very slowly and I thought about this the other day actually so um, at my job I have to work at the checkout counter sometimes and one of my biggest pet peeves is when the customer I'm dealing with does not have their money or wallet out and ready for when I announce the total of their items that really annoys me because that just makes me have to wait. That makes the line in back of them have to wait. And it's just like, what for? AJ helped come up with the rest of these. So thank you, AJ. He said, what would you do if you won the lottery? First of all, I believe in doing good for others. So I would definitely give a big chunk of my winnings to an animal shelter or to help animals in need, um, or even donating food and resources to animal shelters. I believe in charity, so that's what I would do first and foremost. Let's see, if I won the lottery, I'm still kind of stumped on this because I don't know. I would probably quit my job, live off my earnings, and then try to write a book, buy my mom, a new house in New Mexico um, and same with my dad so yeah that's what I would do if I won the lottery movie that I'd star in I would love to be in a movie like breakfast at Tiffany's as you can see I love that movie I love Audrey Hepburn um, that movie is just so beautiful to me I love it um, so any like rom-com that would be cool, or just like even a thriller with a good storyline. Anything that has a good storyline and would make me personally invested in it. I think I'd really enjoy that. Actor or actress I'd like to meet dead or alive. This is an easy one. Audrey Hepburn would be the first person that I think of. My zodiac sign. <clears throat> Since I was born on November 8th, 1991, that makes me a Scorpio. And I think it's very fitting for me, honestly, 
because I'm very passionate and very intense. I can definitely be a very jealous person. I think Scorpio definitely hits the mark on that one. Special talent. I would have to say my writing is my special talent because ever since I could make up stories in like school, elementary school, up till college, I was a writer. I really wanted to be an author. That was my dream um, when I was younger. So I would say my special talent would be writing. Um, I used to be really good at playing piano. I have since lost that skill, but I'm sure if I picked it up again and really tried hard, I could master it again. Something that I miss. Um, instead of something, I'd have to say someone. The moment that I leave someone who I truly, deeply care about and love, I immediately miss them. Like my dad, he lives in the city, and every time I leave him, my heart just kind of crumbles like a little bit. And same with my mom, like if I'm going away for a trip or something, I miss her a lot. And my cats, and my best friend Nicole, and my other best friend Danielle, she lives in LA, and I don't get to talk to her very often, so my heart like deeply aches for that connection. What state do I live in? I live in North America, the US of A, and I live in Illinois. I would say Chicago because that's what people know most about Illinois, but I technically don't. I live in the suburbs of Chicago. I live in a little Midwest kind of country, kind of townsy um, in Illinois, so yeah. Do you like your name? Yes. My name, as you know, is Kayla. Kayla Christine Zeller. And if you made it to this part of the video and know my middle name now, you're lucky because I tend, I don't know why, but I keep it a secret. I just like knowing that most people don't know it. And I think it's a pretty name. I think it suits me very well. My middle name was actually named after my birth mother her name's Christina, and my middle name is Christine. So, Kayla Christine Zeller. My original name was supposed to be Samantha, but I don't feel like that fits me. I think Kayla is much more unique and kind of quirky, so I think it fits me. Yes, I do like my name. What type of phone do I have? I consider me like lame or not with the times or whatever, but I still have my iPhone 8 Plus, which I really adore because it's cute, it's compact, they still make cases for it, and it still has a little button in the middle, the home button. So I really enjoy that. How long does it take me to get ready? Okay, so this is a multi-answer to this question because there's different kinds of getting ready for me. So when I did my hair, it's curly now, as you can see, when I did my hair and took a shower the last time, it took me about half an hour to 45 minutes to get ready. Um, that includes makeup and all. And um, if I were to straighten my hair, let's say I take a shower, let my hair air dry to get ready completely, it takes about nine hours because my hair is so thick, as you can see, and it takes forever for it to air dry. Um, but if I'm using my cool little Revlon um, hair dryer slash brush and then I straighten it, it takes about an hour, 15, hour and a half, I'd say. So not too bad. But definitely when I let my hair air dry, no good. It takes <laughs> Biggest fear. So I really fear death. Um, I don't, I try not to think about it too much because it gives me really bad anxiety. But I worry about my parents' death. Um, I was completely heartbroken when family members of mine have passed or when um, I've lost friends. 
it's just it just it shakes me to the core um, because it's so sudden and it can happen at any time for any reason car crash you know anything uh, surgery operations it's just it's so crazy and it really it freaks me out honestly my favorite band is always going to be the used in fact i have a tattoo on my hip that says in love and death and that's one of their album titles so i will always be a fan of the used burt mccracken oh yeah favorite animal i think is very clear that i love cats I even have, I don't know if you can see, I have this leopard print throw on my bed. And um, I just love cats, big, little, domestic, whatever. I love cats. Not a fan of dogs. My favorite person. Obviously my parents, I would be nowhere in life without them. My best friend Nicole and Danielle and my two kitties, Miko and Cocoam. Food I hate. See, this one kind of throws me a little because there aren't a lot of foods that I hate. I was talking with AJ um, before I made this video and I was like, you are a picky eater. And he was like, no, that's not true. I just know what I like. And I'm like, well, that's a fair point. And then he went on to list a bunch of things that he hates to eat. There are rarely any foods I come across that I really don't like. In fact, I used to hate blue cheese now I don't mind it so much, honestly. Do I get grossed out easily? I used to say no to this question, but things have kind of changed. So yeah, kind of, depends what it is. Incisions, like my mom just had surgery, unfortunately, and I had to take a look at her incision and <laughs> relationship status, single as a Pringle ready to mingle and favorite current disney movie would have to be frozen so thanks for sticking around if you got to the end of this video thank you so much i really appreciate you watching and learning some things about me now that i turned 30 those are your 30 questions for this 30 year old gal if you want like this video subscribe to my channel and watch out for any new videos that I make. Thank you for sticking around, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.